She's a beauty, isn't she? The rainbow beacon calling up to the heavens. What does it mean? What does it want? And more importantly, how do I get one, right? I mean, look at this thing. What? 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 It's good! It's beautiful! It is a rainbow beacon. And it's also got a really exciting looking thing in the middle. Look at it. It's. What? <laughs> Alright, well, you wonder what's going on. Well, allow me to explain. But first of all, I gotta do my intro. It's me, Log.zip. And this is an amazing rainbow beacon that you can add to your Minecraft world. And not only does it just look really sweet, but it gives us a lot of sweet effects as well. All of the normal beacon effects you could actually get from regular old beacons are all activated at once if you decide to add this beacon. It's function. I don't really know what it is. I said function. Relax. Honestly, they need to change the name of that. To your Minecraft world. And get this. It adds a whole trials and tribulation as well. Boss fights. Machine learning. Uh, AI development. Uh, I think I went off on a tangent somewhere. This amazing 1.12 edition was by Xavier Hotch and Dragon014. If you want to check out his channel, it's linked in the description of this video. As always, let's go ahead and show you everything you need in order to get this rainbow beacon via this convenient obstacle course. Ooh. Now, your journey begins, my friends, with a bunny. For in order to find the rainbow beacon, you must find the killer bunny. Scary, you see? It's on a sign, it must be true. We have ourselves a command right down here that you can see that when we press enter, we'll show you a scoreboard that is constantly running in the background that detects where we are standing in the world. And if we happen to be near any bunnies, when that timer hits 5,000, it will turn it into an evil bunny, which currently don't spawn in Minecraft, but actually do in fact exist in Minecraft. But rather, instead of having to deal with that, what we're gonna do is just spawn in a regular old bunny right here. Hey! We're gonna get our sheep. Shields, nice and ready. It's gonna be good. And we are going to press this to kill a bunny fire. Whoa, nice. The nearest bunny. So where'd he go? Where's our bunny? Well, I guess we just spawned it up. That's fine. Boom, boom. He is now a killer bunny. And look at him. This ain't even funny. How much damage does he do? I a little strong. Listen. Oh, okay. Well, that was simple. But it is not that simple. You need to kill the killer bunny and you need to be right next to him, otherwise you will lose the foot. Four, you cannot let its foot touch the ground. Good luck. Again, the sign says it, it's gotta be true. Basically, we did this so that you can't just use a bow to attack it from far away. You gotta be able to pick it up instantly, like we just did right here, it's the special foot. We're gonna give this to a special someone. From there, you wanna throw the foot onto a nearby villager in order to curse him. Yeah, of course you. Who do you think I was talking about? Now, I did forget to mention you will in fact need a dragon egg. So, I'm gonna spare you the trouble of killing the other dragon. Because everyone's seen me kill the dragon before. So, I'm not even gonna bother showing you me killing the dragon. But you will need to make sure you get your hands on the fabled dragon egg. Okay, so where were we? We've got ourselves a dragon egg. We've got ourselves a special rabbit's foot. I'm gonna drop the rabbit's foot on top of our villager. And... Uh Look, I'm not gonna ask questions, okay? Just take the dragon egg and give me the enchanted dragon egg. Ooh, what a deal! Advancement made! That's good. Well, I'm glad that's sorted. We finally got the dragon egg, now we can finally get this stupid beak. What? Not yet! What gives? Jeez, Xavier, you're killing me with these! Except I'm the one that thought of them. Well, I mean, we both work together. Did I mention check out his channel's link in the description? Right, yeah, anyway, the beating. First, you'll need to make these transformation tools. Come on, Xavier. Do these look a little familiar? Well, if you happen to catch our extremely short-lived hardcore survival, then you saw that these are transforming tools that you can make with blaze rods and various gold tools. And you're gonna need these in order to get yourself the rainbow beacon. We've now got some transforming axes and pickaxes. And what we're gonna do is make Make ourselves a little altar for this beacon. It says right here in this book and quill book. It says, use the magic tools on this structure and then throw the enchanted dragon egg on top. Watch what happens. Ooh, okay, let's do it. So again, if you don't know what these tools do, they allow you to turn special blocks into full six-sided. Look at this. We now have full-sided wood on every single side. I love it. We use the pickaxe right here as well to get ourselves a very special type. Now, once you've done all that, throw the enchanted dragon egg right on top and behold, 
Woo Holy moly. That's beautiful. And because I've got shaders on, it's kind of messed up looking. Hold on a second. Right. This is what it's actually supposed to look like. A highlighted, beautiful looking dragon egg. And you can use this altar for very special things. And it's going to help us find our rainbow beacon friend of it. Look, it's glowing down there like crazy. Never mind. It's not changing color. Okay, well, it's, it's just slower when you're far away. It's not my fault. It's Minecraft. Now, you see here, guys, one of the ways you can actually use that dragon altar is to locate special structures within your Minecraft world. Book and Quill tells more. Obtaining the monster eggs in order to locate a stronghold in order to find something that's relevant to the Rainbow Beacon. You must follow these steps. Make a tragedy. You can just read. Just pause it. Messing up the pacing of this video. Everything's been great so far, right? Do you leave your like yet? Please, please, please. Essentially, Silver Blood makes its return, and when combined with Blaze Rods, again, this is something that we've already covered on a previous video of ours, drop them together, just like that, and you will get yourself a very special thing, which is not that special. It's just stone eggs. <laughs> but you can't normally get them, so it's okay, I guess. But again, what was the point of finding a stronghold? Well, it's for the monster spawner. You're gonna need a monster spawner in order to take on the bosses. Yeah, that's right. New bosses that you gotta kill in order to get this rainbow beacon. Check these out. Residues. More like residon't mess with mob spawners because they're really dangerous. And nobody wants to get hurt, okay? So we're gonna use a pig spawner instead. You have a special ability if you decide to install this, whatever we're calling it, rainbow beacon, some or other, into your worlds to change mob spawners wherever they are in your worlds. You can change them into creepers, skelly buns, pork chops. I mean, I mean, pigs, whatever. It's the same thing. Uh, we all know why you spawn them. Spiders, cows, and of course, zombies. By using eight blaze rods once again it's kind of a theme here it's the blaze rods combined with 16 of all of their unique drops for now we're just gonna do the pig you're gonna want to drop them all on top just like that at the same time and whizza we've got some residue and we've got a brand new friend look at cutest oh boy i want to feed you i oh, don't eat the golden ones how dare you pig Anyways, the point of doing that was to get yourself some residue. Now, if you're wondering what the yellow residue is, we changed it to this because it looks more like residue than bright yellow. This just looks like fun goo. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> point is they do the exact same thing. Every time you change a mob spawner in game, you will get eight residue. Now, you need the residue in order to break the bosses that will give you the special items that you need to summon. I know there's a lot of steps. This was originally going to be what we did in the hardcore survival, except I I died like there was a whole bunch to do but it is what it is in that right 12 oh you're not 12 oh you're just a regular old villager well allow me to help you with that 12 <laughs> i'm evil according to this book here we're almost there but you're gonna need a totem of undying pretty soon so you can either walk that series of numbers blocks to find one or you could buy it oh there's something else but you'll find help that you could have helped with the silverfish problem earlier oops he says J xavier come on man you're not doing me any favors here just kidding you're doing me a lot of favors what we're gonna do here is get ourselves gas tier and an egg and we got an invoker and check this out you could use 12's trick if you have this little function thing in your world to get yourself an evoker and what do evokers drop don't y'all know by now come on guys y'all killing me oh is he gonna really run like that oh man we're gonna have to defend okay well anyways i'm gonna take these guys out hopefully real soon oh yeah these guys suck they can't do anything i hurt me get away Ugh. That wasn't that bad. We got ourselves a totem of a dying. We're literally going to need this for the next part. I'll explain in a little bit, but for now, your purposes have been met. Thanks so much for your time, 12. One more book, as well as a whole ton of gear. What does it all mean? Oh, also, there's a whole bunch of accidentally yellow residue. Oops. <laughs> much better. Anyways, we have a book here. Okay, okay, okay. So I got the residue and I got the totem. And I went on your wild goose chase, and I finally am here. Can I get the beacon? Xavier! please well yeah yeah come on you need to build a concrete and beacon structure as shown here then I've got to I gotta collect all the new concrete it's almost as if I planned this to use all the new 1.12 features for my hardcore man I am so sore about dying in that series so if you didn't catch that you essentially need to build a structure that looks exactly like this placed with all these exact colors, placed this exact way with a beacon right in the middle, which means you also need to have killed the wither in order to get your rainbow beacon. But you probably could have guessed that, I hope, right? 
Come on. Now this is it, my friends. This is the boss summoning process. We're about to summon in some special bosses that keep the rainbow beacon a secret from us peons. I want one, I'm gonna get it. You need to take the remaining eight concrete colors that you did not use in the structure and drop them all in the middle. Boom, 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 boom. And then finally, take your four flint and drop it on top as well. And witness shortly as... Uh, whoops, the flint is supposed to be centered on top of the beacon as well. That changed since Xavier and I thought of this uh, up last. But anyways, once it's on the center, check that out. Five extremely special mobs have spawned all around within a 100 block radius of where this original beacon is. And what you need to do is take all the residue that you've been building up from changing mob spawners and use them against these creatures. Because they all drop a special item to finally, yes yeah, seriously, finally get the rainbow beacon. Now, these mobs have special powers. If you're too far from them, they will give you levitation and cause falling block damage. But if you get too close, you get hit with extreme speed boost on top of other nefarious uh, effects. It's gross. Now, Rainbow Protector here, as you can see, we're not doing any damage to him. But once we throw a residue, he will become vulnerable again. Check it out. Die. Hey, just... Uh, oh wait, that's right, I forgot. It takes five of them. Two, three, four, five. Yeah! And he'll explode, and he'll cause us to pop out of him. Yo, this is elaborate. This is why I wanted to do the hardcore. This would have been insane. This would have been so much fun. Now, you can see right there, he dropped a very special item. It's not just a totem of him dying. It's a secret totem three. You need five, or maybe four, I don't remember, of these totems in order to get your rainbow beacon. So it's time for us to find the rest of these stupid things. Oh, here's one. Buddy, buddy, your days are numbered. You see? Check it out. And you get too close, you get hit with mega speed boost. That just messes up everything. Look at this. It's disgusting. Oh, you stay away. I, 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 I. Oh, hold on a second. We gotta be a little careful, huh? Die. I gotta kill him step at a time. Whoa, the yellow one's right there too! And he's invincible! Hey! Hey, come on! I I my own they even with it. Come on, yeah! Whoa! Hurt him with him! Yeah! Yo, pitting him against each other. Look how many of these guys are just getting in my way. I don't even want to play this anymore. Y'all y'all too much for me. Can't handle it. I'ma fast forward. I'ma die! Alright, I killed one of them, and he dropped his armor as well. That's just a pleasant surprise. He should have been dropping totems. I'm hoping I picked it up. We're gonna check in a second. We've got ourselves secret totem one, three, and four. Alright, two to go. Now, if for whatever reason you don't want to find or cannot find all five of them, you can literally just spawn in more using the same method that you already used before. So I wanted to show that off. I figure, I ain't picking up extras. Come on with it. I ain't part of that game. Boom. So just a second, they'll spawn in additional of these creatures. So, oh boy. I think this is a fresh one. We didn't get him before. So where's my residue? Residue to deal with you. All righty. Uh, oh, wow. They're all right here. Come on. Whoa, this is what I'm talking about. You only did some serious damage to each other. Are y'all both immune now? All right, I'll be right back. There he is, waiting to be messed on. Yeah, come on over, pup. I got you. I got you right here. Walk right into them. Stupid. Now blow up and get served my blade. I should have said sword. Get served my sword. That would have made a lot more sense. But with that, we have one, two, three, four, all five totems. And if I'm not careful, I might have to use one. It's time, my friends. The rainbow beacon is here. We've got all the totems we need. But before we begin, I would highly recommend you place an extra totem of undying in your offhand. You might just need it. Allow me to show you. Drop the first secret totem, the second secret totem, three, four, and five. And finally, four. Come on, with picking up the extra totem, stay away from me. Finally, four flint to spark the fuse and. Ooh, baby! Be happy you had that totem of undying because you would need it in order to get yourself. Something new. What could it be? Eh, it's the beacon. For the rainbow beacon is such a well-kept secret that its destructive forces are unmatched. Seriously, like you need a totem undying or you will in fact die. Our final chest. 
a diamond pickaxe. Here is another special beacon. We're gonna mine this guy away right now to show you that you can get it back once it's been placed. Oh, oops. <laughs> Make sure you're close so that you can collect it when that happens. You see, oh, all right, well, come on. How about this time? Yeah, got it that time. Gee whiz. It is a special beacon that you drop on the ground in order to activate. And you can drop it only on top of a diamond block. Otherwise, the effects will not work any other place. But you only need one. So allow me to replace you right there. And you will get yourself a rainbow shimmering beacon. Are you gonna light or what? Oh, I guess we do need a completed block underneath for that. Holy moly, everything going wrong. A rainbow beacon. We have come full circle, my friends. And if you didn't catch it at the start of the video, like I said, this beacon provides you with all of the normal beacon effects, but all at once. Speed, haste, resistance, jump boost, and strength. A perfect addition for any Minecraft base. My friends, the rainbow beacon in Minecraft 1.12 by Xavier and of course myself. If you want to see this as a download, I might just release it. Be a good idea to leave a like rating on this video. We're working on tons of new stuff all the time for Minecraft 1.12 as well as Pocket Edition in the near future. So make sure you subscribe so you can see that right as it comes out. And if you want to see some similar content to this, then you'll want to check out the other video that just popped up on the screen too. Thanks so much, my friends. Have a good day and be careful with your rainbow beacon. Only though, I don't have anything good to say.